Here's my mini pot kitchen. I just want to tell everybody Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year to you guys. Y'all stay safe. Don't be drinking and driving out there. Be responsible. Catch that Uber if you got to. Saves lives. Saves lives. Y'all watch this video. It's my mini pot video. You know what I want for Christmas? I want y'all to hit that follow button and share. Share, follow, and like. Share, follow, and like. Y'all get on my YouTube channel. Help me build my YouTube channel up. Facebook and Instagram as well. I appreciate all y'all support every day. Y'all hit that follow button. Show me some love. We work hard for all this, man. We work hard for all this. Y'all can get my seasoning corners markets and all the... Uh, Livingston Parish to Carter's Markets. You get out around Hattiesburg. Go to Corner Markets out there. We're all the way down to Pierre Part Store. We're all over. A lot of stores you can go in. We're going to be in Rouse's coming up here any second now. Y'all stay tuned. Alright, I get a lot of people asking about my mini pot setup. We do some competition cooking in these and we cook at them actually at the house too. This is the mini pot burner right here. It's a regular gas burner just like the big boys are. We have this right here, and this is some scrap metal right here I found out at Paula's dad's house. Picked it up, and put it together, made my base with it right here. This is kind of the whole setup right here, what it looks like. And right under here, I got some LED battery-operated lights up under there. Just like that for nighttime cooking, of course, at day for the hot lids. My mini pot paddles right there. These are little miniature uh, scale five gallon buckets I made on a 3D printer and I took a piece of coat hanger and made the bucket handle with it to put some mini pot paddles in and just all the little necessities up there. Put a little piece of tile down here to keep it from getting hot on there. I mounted my propane bottle right here on the side like this. I took a piece of four inch PVC and put a cap at the bottom and put it on like that to where the tank just slides down in and out of it like this very easily. And it holds that, and I drilled a hole right through the back right here to run my gas line, just a regular high pressure line. And we put an adapter on those mini bottles right there, the little camping bottles, you just put that on there. And this is what these pots look like. Y'all so watch my other videos right there. I'll take it out of here. I'll push it down in there so it don't mess around too hard. And that's the actual burner down in there like that. We got a little state of Louisiana right here. We got it all set up. And what I set this on is one of those heart stackable toolboxes. And it just sits up there just like this. One thing to where I can sit right here and do all my cooking. Right there like that. This is the side view of it. Right here. This is the side view here. And these lids right here, it comes with the, the metal lids with the little pots, but I like these lids a little better. I made these. Paula's dad works in a fab shop. He gets all these spare parts for me, so I just drilled holes in it. Made my own lid, just like the big ones. This is just a mini replica. It's real fun if y'all want to get into these. You can take this pot right here and set it on your coffee table in the house and cook gumbo, jambalaya, anything you want. You can fry a little fish in there. You can fry oysters in there. You can do sauce pecans imagination if it'll cook it on the big stove you can cook it in there one pot meals they're fun and easy great for camping great for road trips and then right here this is the mini pot rig for outdoor cooking this tripod stand that it's on we use this for cooking in open flames because some of the competitions you can't use gas you got to do open flames the little mini barbecue pit i ordered that off amazon to set it on so we're cooking parking lots at competitions and camping and stuff like that all your coals just stay right there that's what that's for a little barbecue pit and it just fits perfect in there got a little windscreen around it and this is another little stand here and this pot here actually has the flat bottom on it it's more of like a little stew pot so you can do a lot with them see little flat bottom pots like that really fun to cook with some extra pots there and here's the rig right there I got my Bluetooth speaker right there. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to get to the box now and show you some extra supplies in here. And just like the big pots, you know, we fight these wind conditions. We got to turn this down. This right here, bear with me a second. That's my windscreen. I got some old diamond plate Paul's dad had laying around. Got that. There's my windscreen. I cut it right here to fit over there. I got a totally 360 degree windscreen when it's around there. Look at that. All diamond plate. 
pretty ready to go. All you got to do is get you some of those hinges like that. You can buy one long one and cut them short enough and drill some holes and put you some prop rivets in. It's real easy to do. But you see it's all encased right there. It keeps that old wind off of you when you're trying to get that low flame to get down to that last 30 minutes of cooking. How y'all like that? All scrapped and made by hand. That's my little Bluetooth speaker I keep up there when we're cooking. Can't go without the tunes. This is a picture of the back side of it right here like this. All down in there. That's the outdoor rig. That's my stool. You get those at Walmart. They collapsible. They fold up. Work great. And that's the outside the toolbox all the way around it right here. Alright, here's back to the toolbox right here. Keep everything in here all nice, neat, and organized. I got extra cooking utensils in there, headlight, measuring cups, some spoons, roof spoons, all kind of stuff. Of course, a jambalaya pot seasoning, some cooking oil, lighters, all kind of other seasonings in there. Y'all know these are stackable. I took the top piece off. Right here is my extra burners right here. A couple of extra burners. Keeps them right down in there. Another burner. Some extra little gas bottles in there. You can refill these gas bottles. You can just get that refill adapter. And use a big 5 gallon tank. So if you do these. Put them in the freezer. Turn your big propane bottle over. Get the adapter. Put it on there and fill them up. It's pretty simple. It saves you a ton of money. Now that's the whole setup right here. You guys, I'll tell you what. You can have fun with it. Scrap you some stuff up make your little kitchen this all just kind of fell in place by picking stuff up for the actual kitchen part the uh toolbox is on a dolly rolling system so it makes it real easy to roll around y'all get into it you'll enjoy it you have fun y'all got any questions need any recipes hit me up pm me i'll help you out any way i can you start cooking in these oh you'll really really like them they're a whole lot of fun y'all need anything let me know shakalai you fuck alive. <laughs>